Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's been a while. Caught me just in time to catch me doing a little cheeky game developer move. The classic dumping your old project in favor of a new one that you've just come up with. Can't wait to tell you about the new project. Let's dive right in. So here's what we've got so far, and I'd love to show you the process of how we got this fine game experience. Well, let me take you on a little journey. At the beginning of the project, it's really important to do what I call gathering inspiration. It's another word for plagiarizing really good game ideas. You heard of a little game called Stardew Valley, a game called Prison Architect, and a game called The Escapist. See that? It's our game. <laughs> Let me show you what I've done so far to get to this point. Hopefully you enjoyed the progress. Stay tuned. Starting off with the basics of the game. One big step up you'll notice in this project. No more scuffed tile map. That's right, we're just gonna use the built-in one because goddamn, it is so much better than what I tried to make in the last project. Uh, you'll notice everything tiles perfectly as you'd expect. Snaps together, it's just a tile map, what can I say? You can paint things, it's awesome. Next thing on the list was taking my legendary pixel art skills and making a basic player sprite. Now you'll notice I also doubled the sprite up for the NPC sprite, just that red, because I couldn't be bothered making another one for now. And then decided to do a basic animation. This animation only has four frames, but I'm really just testing the waters on how animations work. And I'll probably do a whole video on this later on. But for now, I'm pretty happy with it, and it just makes the game feel a little bit more alive when you're bouncing around. Then on the systems front, we have a nice little timer that will count your days in the game. This is going to be a whole system on its own, and I'll explain that more later. And in addition to this, we also have a step counter. For now, they just kind of hang out and do their thing, but they have a place, trust me. After all that was done, it was back to making a few more assets. I did this on a couple streams, you can go check them out if you feel like it. I had some people join me in the chat, which was awesome, and my mate Will helped give me advice on making uh, some sexy looking trash cans <laughs> and bottles that the player's going to be picking up, as well as this recycler bin, which we'll figure out what that's going to do in another episode. So yeah, the last thing you'll notice is the pathfinding I've added. The NPCs moving around, they go shopping, they want to go home, and then they go shopping again. I'll explain the system more and how I did it in a separate video as the pathfinding is really interesting, quite tricky and still has a lot to be desired really with how I've implemented it, but just letting you know that it's going to be a major part of the game in the future as NPCs are going to be a pretty major part of the game too. Alright, you made it through this very short video. It's a brief one I know, I'm going to be going into more depth in the other things later on. Before you leave though, please join that Discord. You know where to find it that's how i'm going to be talking with you guys outside of the videos i know that you have questions please put them there because some people have asked for tutorials all sorts of stuff and it's kind of awkward just messaging back and forth from the comments so go down there subscribe and enjoy this soothing b-roll i have from a beautiful hike i went on recently see you in the next one <laughs> yeah, when I say OK Google, it doesn't set off. But when I go like oot, it. <laughs> Piece of shit. Sorry, I didn't understand. Oh my god. <laughs>